now it's third and ten. Still looking for a first first down of the game. Atlanta already with ten first downs and a couple of touchdowns. And McCown's pass is picked, and here we go to the end zone for the touchdown. Kamal Ismail returns it to pick six. Well, there were people at McCown's feet. It took a little long, and he's trying to find the receiver, and he just can't get enough on the football. But that is one of those cases where the defensive back truly did read the eyes of the quarterback. Saw him looking to his left, and Ishmael timed it perfectly. What a clean catch. Those are ones that you could just clearly take and put in the stats board for you. McCown will be sore later tonight and early tomorrow morning. His first game back in a month and a half. And that one is picked off by Ishmael at the 10-yard line, and that'll do it. when Josh McCown is just throwing that one out there trying to make a play trying to move forward and get that ball to Vincent Jackson but you know, when you're in a third and 18 and down in a game like this coverage is just playing back they're going to sit down and let you dink and dunk down the field but they're not going to let you get that big shot down the field on first and 10 Boyer looking his direction instead intercepted picked off by Ishmael and he's tackled at the 50-yard line. Third straight game that Kamal Ishmael has an interception. Well, if you want to improve your defense quickly, get some turnovers. Brian Hoyer just doesn't put enough air under this and can't get it over Ishmael's head. You'll see. He's got Dre open. You see it right up here. All he's got to do is put this ball up ahead of him, and he throws it right to Ishmael. He's got to lob that football up. There's just not enough on it. Yeah, just a, a really poor throw. Brian Hoyer's better than that, and we've seen it all year. Bortles. Pass. Intercepted. It's intercepted. Running down the field. It's Kamal Ishmael. Ishmael, one man blocked away, and Ishmael stays in but falls down at the 15. And it was Blake Bortles who went downfield to undercut Ishmael and prevent the touchdown, but a critical interception and a return of 85 yards when it was first and goal at the one. Well, we said momentum before halftime like Jacksonville had last week up against the Colts. It's been flipped today. That momentum added in at halftime is going to the Atlanta Falcons. The big interception by Ishmael.